Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners and today we're going to tie a parachute grasshopper. The hook I have in the vise is a size 12. This is a curved shank, two extra long. But you can just use a standard two extra long size 12, size 10, size 8, whichever size you would like. We're going to use black thread and we're going to attach it in front of the eye or in back of the eye and we're going to take it to the rear of the hook. And hold that at a 45 degree angle and it will put one wrap right next to the previous wrap. We'll go ahead and trim off the excess. And we're going to start with the body. I'm going to use a natural dubbing on this. This is actually a hair blend dubbing. I'm going to use an olive brown. Make that body. We're gonna wrap. We're gonna going to uh, make this pretty, pretty large body. So put that dubbing on there pretty tight. It'll probably take several dubbing noodles. Want to make this pretty good fat body. Yeah, we'll give this a wrap and see what we get. And one more will do. Yeah, like I said, I'm putting that on there pretty heavy. Then we want to come up approximately two-thirds the hook shank. And I'm about two eye lengths behind the eye of the hook. Now I'm going to put the legs on. I have a pheasant tail, pheasant center tail here, and I made knots in them. Make sure you get the legs about the same number of fibers for each. Doesn't have to be exact, but you don't want one fat leg and one skinny leg. Just going to take that leg and then we're going to tie that in. And you want that the knee to be just beyond the body. We'll trim off the end after we get both legs on. I'm going to take the other and we're going to tie that in on the other side. There we go. I'm going to trim off the back portions and you want that back section of knee to be about roughly the size of the gap of the hook. Maybe a little bit longer. Now we're going to take, I have turkey quill. And I, you can see that shine on there. What I did, what you could do is use your head cement and coat it with head cement. There's shine on this one. But you can also use some kind of UV cure. I used my Deer Creek Diamond Flex. I put the epoxy on the inside of the wings. I'm going to tie them in by the tips. And you want those wings to be just a bit longer than the body. I'm going to hold everything in there. Take a loose loop, pull it straight down. And then put a couple more wraps in there to secure it. I'm going to go ahead and trim off that excess. I'm 
and you can take your scissors and trim them both to shape kind of hold them together and just cut back on them bring my thread back up now for the wing post I'm going to use some orange CDC and I just grabbed it like two of them I'm going to tie them in by the bottom part of the stem where it's nice and fat and we'll bring that right up not quite to the wings now I have a pair of hackle I have a brown grizzly and I have a badger and I gave them both the crew cut and we're going to tie them in first to the shank bring it up to the wing post and then wrap around the wing post and having that uh, thick stem on the CDC is nice Now I'm going to take just a little bit more of the dubbing and I'm going to, since it's so thick already up here, I'm just going to use a small amount of dubbing just to hide that. And we're going to leave the thread up the top here. I'm going to wrap the hackles. I'm going to wrap them both at the same time. You can wrap one and then the other. We're going to wrap them down the wing post. When we get to the bottom, we're going to tie them off. Put a couple of wraps on top and put a couple of wraps underneath the hackles. I'm going to trim away the excess hackle. And I'm going to trim off the wing post. I want to leave a little bit there because I want the high vis. Just want to be able to see that orange. And now we still have the CDC feathers that are in very good shape. You can put whatever remaining, you can put them back. Now we're going to give the hackle a whip finish using your fingers is better than using a whip finish because you can get the thread underneath all of the hackles and I'm going to give it three before I pull it I'm going to put some head cement on there Take your head cement and put some on the left side of the loop. And that will pull the head cement right in. Pull that tight. Remove that thread. Let's see again. And here we have a parachute grasshopper. You can see under the bottom there is a distinct 
separation between the head and the body. I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.